leave me alone. Sailor, what do you do with the drunken sailor? 
We've arrived at the coordinates Mr. Denham specified. Only there's one problem. There's no island. Blast! Weeks of seeing this is all Denim has a show for it. Where is that sand crab anyway? <laughs> I haven't seen him on deck since the day before last Thursday. Two weeks ago. Oh, good day, Captain, Mr. Disker. <laughs> Charlie, what the son of a gun are you doing in my quarters? Your post is in the kitchen. So sorry, Captain, but our provisions run extremely low. Not sure we'll cook dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's kidding, right? Okay then, Charlie, what's for grub? Oh, right. I have for you delicious scallop potatoes, mashed potatoes, seasoned Season potatoes, baked potatoes. Sparkles, the potatoes all we have on this ship, Charlie? I have one cat. Dead! <laughs> Get in here on the double! Uh, Captain Edward, I heard you screaming from the poop deck. What seems to be the trouble? Denim, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were leading us on a wild goose chase all over the South Seas. Driscoll? What is our current location? Two south, 90 east. We passed the western shores of Sumatra two days ago. Bingo. We're right on top of it. What in the name of Blackbeard's Wizard is that, Denim? A map. <clears throat> a map? You mean to tell me that you've been carrying that thing around all along without our knowledge? This is treasonous, Denim. <clears throat> Relax, gentlemen. Have I steered you wrong before? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> According to this map, Skull Island should be right over Medway. Skull <laughs> Island, Denim. I've had the ship all over the world and never have I heard of Skull Island. Where'd you get that map anyway? Strangely enough, in Singapore. Sorry, I asked. <laughs> I met the acquaintance of a blind, limbless, homesick, opium-addled Norwegian cross-dresser. <laughs> 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 when I told him I was interested in filming raw nature, he told me in broken English, with an odd list, stories of a mysterious island. Hosting all sorts of critters, big ends and small ones. Some ugly, with nasty, sharp teeth. Some cute, not to strip the flesh off your own split second. <laughs> and some so evil, they have no name. <laughs> you don't believe me. Well, Sonny Jim, how do you think we lost all my limbs, both of my eyes, and my mic? <laughs> <laughs> but none could reach its shores, and those that did were to only return to civilization. Stark raving man. That's a whale of a tale, Venom. Well, well, why would he make something like that up? But wait a tick. A blind, limbless Norwegian processor drew this map? So <laughs> he used his team. But more importantly, Captain, this island. Skull Island, not shown on any other map, will put us on the map. All I ask is that we forge on full speed ahead. Together. Besides, didn't I say I'd make it worth your while? Oh, fog bank ahead, Captain. Driscoll, slow our speed. Set up a watch on the crow's nest. First I land, notify me immediately. All right, get him. Either this island yields to what you set out to find, or it'll be its next permanent president. Go. <laughs> <laughs> You feel faint. 
but not that fate. <laughs> as the beast reaches towards you, his gaping jaws about to seal your fate, you notice his vastly oversized anatomical features. You scream, <laughs> but you can't, well, because for you it's too late. Ma'am, miss, are you alright? Excuse me, you're blocking my shot. Here, give me your hand. Thank you. Instant Jack Driscoll at your service. You can call me Jack. You can call me anything you want. <laughs> Miss Darrow, eh? And she's the star of my next big picture. Miss Darrow. Eh? And please allow me to have a few words with Mr. Denham, if you would. I'll be in my cabin. <laughs> Mr. Denham, what exactly are your intentions with this young woman? My intent? My intent is to make her a star. The biggest. Look, you've got a lot to learn about how to treat a lady, and not just bark orders at her. What's your point, Ensign? I'm the director, and you're on my set. I think you mean our ship? Yeah, where are you taking us anyway? An island, obviously. Yes, <laughs> and what's on this island? Something wondrous. Something so great and so powerful it will astound the imagination. Or so I was told. You know, these waters. I can't say they're familiar. The waves are choppier. Even the seagulls seem distressed. Angry. Angry birds? <laughs> <laughs> Put your camera wherever you like, Denim. But if any harm comes to Anne, you'll have me to answer to. Nobody makes a monkey out of Carl Denim and said, not nobody, not no how. Well, for Anne's sake, I hope you're right. Uh, low tide, we've crashed into a reef. The island. There it is. I think if we just stay here behind this dense foliage, I'll be able to get some good shots. What are you, Denim? Yellow belly? Get in there and get your footage. That's what we came for. I'm erring on the side of caution, gentlemen. And I'm about to air this boot up your lousy keister, Denim. Get out that camera and start shooting. Don't say I didn't warn you. He's gonna get us all killed. <laughs> I get the feeling we interrupted something. Just a hunch. <laughs> this must be their chief. Yum yum, he chop yum yum. Just will you speak to him, Jibberish? Have a word with him. Uh. Han, Mabuki, Kili, Kela, Kuka. <laughs> ah, Tommy, Tom, Pinchy King. What did he say? <laughs> well, he's not very happy. He said they were about to make their biannual virgin sacrifice to appease their vengeful monkey god when we barged in. He said he'll gladly bargain with us for any fresh fruits, vegetables, paper goods, or Pokemon trading cards we might have. But mostly, they just want the girl with the golden hair. Hand her over and our lives are spared. Refuse, and we're dead meat. He said all that? Jack, no! Remember the first rule of show business, and Give the people what they want. You <laughs> All of you! I'm not even a legal drinking age! And you want me to sacrifice myself to these... these savages? Listen, Anne. I'm not sure what sort of games they're playing, but just remember, we've got the firepower. If they try to pull any rough stuff, we'll come in with guns blazing. For now, we'll ante up, but keep an ace up our sleeve. Now kiss me, sweetheart. It could be our last night on Earth. <laughs> Mr. Denham, I hope you're getting all this. Lights, camera, action. Hey, what's the meaning of this? No deal, no deal. Where are they taking her? Look, up there.
<laughs> what sort of place is this? It's an island, all right. But this jungle goes on forever. That cracks it. Break out the trail, make some beef jerky, mate. It's time for a potty break. Potty break? We just <laughs> got here. This isn't exactly going to be a stroll in the park, Driscoll. And is in serious danger. Look! <laughs> Jumping, Davy Jones. Aren't those things supposed to be extinct? This is a forgotten place. A land so poor time. And we're at its mercy. Just ignore it. We'll find an alternate route. It's coming right for us. No, don't shoot. Fire!
There have been strange rumblings and gossip up and down Broadway in recent weeks, but still, no one knows what Carl Denham is housing inside this, the Majestic Theater here on West 44th Street, the eighth wonder, or the upteenth what not of the world. All will be revealed tonight. Ah, I can see the stars are beginning to arrive. Uh, here comes a clearly intoxicated Clark Gable down the red carpet, <laughs> roguishly handsome. One foot in front of the other, Clark. <laughs> and his thing for this evening, and also severely wasted, Miss Joan Crawford, who I can see is trying very hard not to spill that martini all over that lovely evening gown. Good luck, Joan. <laughs> and behind her, the ravishing and also severely inebriated Miss Betty Davis. Oh, and her date for this evening, Mr. John Barrymore, who I can see, <gasps> yes, yes, has just vomited all down the backside of Marlene Lady Dietrich, who does not look at all amused. And here he is, Ben, our Carl Denham. Oh, oh, Denham. Mr. Denham, Mr. Denham, over here, over here, Mr. Denham. Carl, who or what is King Kong? You're Charlie the Cook, Ensign Jack Triscoll and his fiance, 
the star of my upcoming film on the subject of calm, Miss Anne Derrick. <laughs>